in india we have 80% hindus and you are so scared of bjp and their hindutva and all so let's see what proportion of hindus are mesmerized or are taken by the idea of hindutva as bjp portrays it rather than getting into the argument whether that's a soft hindutva or hard hindutva whether it's hinduism or hindutva i don't want to get into that debate let's take whoever is voting as an hindu inspired by the hindutva ideology of bjp what is the proportion so out of last time bjp got 38% vote any student of an elementary maths can tell you that if out of 80% bjp got 38% meaning less than half of hindus voted for bjp now you all you need to do is to look at who are the hindus who have not voted for bjp sometime we look at oh tamil nadu ke hindu ne vote nahi kiya hindus of tamil nadu has not voted hindus from uh, odisha has not voted some people try to understand it by caste that which caste of hindu community has not voted for bjp i look at it ideologically because you are trying to build an ideological counter which is this 50% hindus who are not voting for bjp primarily they are followers of four ideology one who believe in gandhism whoever are the strong followers of gandhi they are not convinced with the idea of hindutva as put forward by bjp second those who believe in the communism they are also not going to go with bjp third those who are the believers of ambedkar the ambedkarites they are not going with bjp and fourth the original socialists are also not convinced with this new hindutva narrative if you put this fourth together then you know what could be the ideological counter hmm. and within these four the glue is gandhi because the history tells us that he could brought the socialists the communists the ambedkarites and those who followed his ideology all together so the counter if you have to build you have to start any leader or any dispensation or any coalition who is able to broadly bring together the followers of these four ideology would be able to put a very formidable challenge to bjp